During this episode of Travel Photography, we'll be visiting Rialto Beach at Olympic National Park. Rialto Beach is located on the Pacific Coast within Olympic National Park. A great part about it is that the beach is very easy access and is just a few steps away from the parking lot. Now as we step out onto the beach, the first thing we notice is how the forest goes right up to the beach line, which means there's a lot of fallen trees and driftwood right on the beach. Now from a photographic perspective, I'm ecstatic because there are endless opportunities for getting cool and unique shots. This is unlike any beach I've ever seen before. This driftwood here really caught my eye because of its shape and size. I pulled out my tripod to get this shot because I'm gonna bracket a few shots together to merge in Lightroom for HDR to try to bring all of the dynamic range into the image. Everywhere we walk, we come across so many different and unique pieces of this driftwood. I could spend days here and not run out of things to shoot. For today, we only have about three hours at Rialto Beach, so I already know that I'm gonna leave some good shots on the table, but I'm really enjoying trying to get different perspectives and angles and get as much as I can for the short time that we're here. I'm taking my time on this piece of driftwood and you can see it's easy to get a few different angles and create different and diverse shots all with the same piece of driftwood. Rialto Beach is such an incredible location because there's so much to shoot and there's still so much to see because at this point we're only a few hundred yards from the parking lot. If you're willing to walk a mile and a half up the beach that's when the scenery really gets amazing. This part of Rialto Beach is known as Split Rock, and it's crazy to see the size of these rocks that are right on the beachfront. It takes us probably about 45 minutes to walk to the point that we get to these rocks, but part of that slowness is due to me taking pictures along the way. But that's the fun stuff. Once we get there, Everywhere I look, there's a great photo opportunity, so I just start shooting and having fun. I'm gonna set up a tripod because I wanna try some different shots using different shutter speeds to see what effect I can have with the water. First, I'm gonna take a fast shutter speed to try to freeze the water. Now I'm going to try and do a long exposure, probably about eight seconds, to try to get a mystique look. So you can see these are two much different looks from the exact same spot by just adjusting the shutter speed. This is why I love photography so much because you can do so many different things by making different types of adjustments. Another important spot that we reach is called Hole in the Wall, but we learned an important tip about the timing of the tides. As we got to the Hole in the Wall spot, the tide was rising and we weren't able to walk through the hole to see that different perspective, whereas if we would have arrived at low tide, we could have explored it a lot more. So if you do want to get the full experience and have the most flexibility with where you go, make sure and look at the tide report, which is available on the National Park Service website for Olympic National Park. So the last tip I'll give you about photographing Rialto Beach is that as stunning as the beach and the scenery is, don't forget to find ways to incorporate people into the images. People add a certain level of magnitude and weight to an image that a standalone landscape shot just can't. So to get the most diversity of your shots, you want the landscape only shots but if you can also find interesting ways to bring people into other images, it'll give you an even better range of shots in the end. Of all the spots we visited at Olympic National Park, Rialto Beach probably ranks as my favorite from a photography perspective because it was the place that I felt 
like I left the most shots still out there. There's always a reason to go back. Thanks for watching this episode of Travel Photography and please visit PhotographyTV.com for additional travel episodes and more. Also, please subscribe to this channel on YouTube to continue to see the new episodes that get rolled out. Do it! Subscribe! Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see where we go next.